Hi, you fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we're back with another reaction. It's more horror movies here on Horror Palooza, and we've got a unique one for you guys today. What is this, Dan? We are watching Innocent Blood. Yes, we are. I really hope you enjoy this. We just wanted to give you guys a treat here for Halloween. I haven't seen it. I'm looking forward to it. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. I'd become very selective, and it was getting hard for me to find food. I'm sorry to hear that. She sounds French. So oh, the shark. shark. <laughs> but then came good news. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, nothing is excited like three people dead. It was time to treat myself, and I thought, what about Italian? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. Yeah. Where's Chaz Palminteri? Yeah. Yeah, this was like a scene out of The Godfather. Yeah. Watch this. Oh, this is an old movie. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so, how you doing? Is it Robert Loggia? Oh, yeah. Well, they got all kinds of business here. Look at all the electronics back there. Mm -hmm. What's this? It's a toaster. <laughs> Where'd it come from? What's up? Where'd it come from? It came from a warehouse. No! <laughs> oh, gee. Damn. I thought this was just supposed to be a sit-down. Yeah, somebody ain't getting up. <laughs> let's get rid of the guy, but let's do it discreet. Fine, you want discreet? You f shoot him. <laughs> it's not discreet. <laughs> you do this with him. No, please. Don't do it to me, sir. Die. <laughs> Next time I tell you to pull the trigger, you pull the trigger. I like him. I hate him, but I like him. I will say his begging was getting annoying. Yeah. Oh wow! What are you doing? She gonna attack him in the middle of the street like that? I don't know. They love it. <laughs> this guy's all over the place. First he's like, I don't want to shoot anybody, and then he goes and attack a police car. Yeah, I don't get it either. Jeez. Oh, be careful, man. He looked promising, but his eyes were sad. My first rule: never play with the food. <laughs> <laughs> Do not touch the fucking car. This guy was perfect. <laughs> you can really move for someone so big. Look, uh, what do you say I give you a lift? What's too easy on these guys? Oh, yeah. Or Sinatra? Hey, don't start on Sinatra. That's all the CDs are. <laughs> you want to see a great view, Tony? That old black magic. She's really good at this, isn't she? Well, I think vampires are supposed to have seductive powers anyways. Yeah. Didn't hurt that she's beautiful. What can I do? The burning desire. All right, dinner time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you don't need food for this. Right. Hey, what are you, some kind of a freak? Whoa! <laughs> Oh, oh my god! He ripped his neck out! Wow. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Gal's just holding neck off. <laughs> I bet you thought that was gonna go a lot cleaner. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Wait, how can she see herself in the mirror? Makeup. That's okay. <laughs> Always finish the food. That means. Eliminating the feed marks in the central nervous system <laughs> disconnect. Jesus. Wow. I guess that would do it. <laughs> Standard shotgun hit, right? Nah, this guy's lost a lot of blood. You know, he had his head blown off. No, this guy's really lost a lot of blood. So this guy's an undercover cop, huh? He is indeed. What in hell are you doing out here? The damn press is here. I'm putting you into protection. Well, you did expose yourself here. You cannot pull me out now. I've been living with Michelli's crew for three years now. Put a lot of effort in. This was the first time my food made the front page. <laughs> <laughs> She's got an interesting perspective on everything. Yeah, right? Oh, no. He made the pa the papers. Mm. Fucking pig. I knew he wasn't right. I could smell it. Oh, no. Selling it. Hey, there's Don Rickles. He looks Russian. <laughs> <laughs> Put two behind his fucking ear. Sally, don't talk like that in front of your attorney. Oh, it's the attorney. Jacko. Yeah. Ain't that the prick from the papers? Hey, that's Tom Savini. It is Tom Savini. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of actors in this film. I'm telling you. 
You dress like a pimp and talk like a goon. What makes you news? Must be from fucking Mars to talk to me like that. If only you knew, pal. You might be the dumbest bitch I ever met, but you got balls. You want a ride? You got one. I should have walked away, but he annoyed me. <laughs> I should love her in her mind. Right. What do I call you? Marie. Way Marie. About time we learned her name. If that's her real name. Mm. What do you say we make up over a little late supper? I'd love a little late supper. <laughs> And this button turns the Sinatra on. <laughs> Not for me, thanks. Hey. Muscles and garlic. Oh, the garlic. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, the bathroom's over there. Is it really having that effect on you? That's interesting. This was a mistake. Yeah, he's got garlic running in his blood. What can I say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, baby. Hey, you play Mary Virgin with me. Careful, man. Don't make her mad. Take a ride. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One big bite, it's over. Oh, yeah, ah! <laughs> Those eyes! <laughs> Jesus! Oh, he's got a gun. Oh. Well, he's a fighter, I'll say that. Will she recover from that? She's got to. She's a vampire. It's not in the heart. She should be all right. Well, too bad for poor Sal. Yeah. I was watching the horror of Dracula. Okay. Who died? With jelly. Shit. Joe, you made him look so bad in front of his people, they took him out. Yeah. Yeah. You succeeded. Congratulations. Yeah, how the hell did she get out? The bars are still on the window. Hmm. His temperature should be dropping. It's going up. Oh. Going up. She didn't shoot him. Surely she's not up there. Well, there's a blood trail coming out of the chimney. Well, that answers your question, then. <laughs> oh! Ah! Okay. <laughs> Wait, how long was she up there? Good God. <laughs> She's strong. <laughs> Why didn't she just fly? I don't know, Mr. Hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's dog, you just let go. <laughs> <laughs> well, she had a lot on her, didn't she? Her blood and his. Well, the priests are gonna be confused when they walk in and see all this blood. Nah, it's going down the drain. <laughs> hey! That's my dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, not a drip of blood. <laughs> but water prints. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> She's hanging. hanging up there. Yeah, she is. By one hand. No way she's that fast. <laughs> you are under arrest. Stay away from me or I kill you! Alright there, Teen Wolf. <laughs> so she can just change her eye color at will. Oh, God. Oh, God. What happened to that guy? It's happening to all of them. They, I guess they're all... doing the autopsies. Yeah. It's just grass, fella. Come on. Yeah, this is Frank Oz. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. He's seen better days. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Stop him! You stop him! You stop him! Yeah. <laughs> you cannot rush an autopsy. As soon as we know, you'll know. It's a miracle. Michelli? <laughs> he's just walking right by. Yeah, he's doing a lousy job. Yeah. 
This is taking off the picture. Dude, what's your rush? Well, he was dead for a while. I mean... <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Get your own car. I was gonna say, that's a bit extra, isn't it? Shut the fucking car! Poor choice of words. <laughs> what are you doing? Turn off the fucking lights! <laughs> You smell. You smell good. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> Somebody tried to whack me out of the hose behind it. They laid me out in the bog. When I wake up, they're trying to saw me in half. Dude looks like a ghoul now, doesn't he? He does. A ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> <laughs> Sally, tell me what the hell happened. Crazy bitch. She fucking bit me. We gotta get you a doctor. No, I'm fine. You don't look fine. I know that you're the one that blew Tony Silva's head off, and I know that you're the one that took Michelli out. Okay, we can do about it. Michelli's not dead, is he? If you wanted him dead, why didn't you just make sure he was dead the first time you killed him? I fucked up, okay? Don't tell me what happened to you. Your voice. <laughs> Her eye color keeps changing. I don't know why. It didn't change that time, I don't think, did it? Yeah, they were like gold or something. She got one for every mood, I guess. I guess. She is a goddamn freak. She chopped Michelli in the neck and she drained his blood. What happened to your car? She jumped on it. Put him in the car, Dave. Oh my god. It's a bit unbelievable, though. I am Dracula. The original, yes. Hey, you are. God. <laughs> Just a frozen chunk of ground beef. Gennaro, he's here. Oh, you can smell him from there? Good lord. Just use the front door, for God's sake. <laughs> Gennaro split. Fuck! <laughs> she split too. <laughs> oh! Stop, stop. Don't, don't kill him here! Yeah, the lawyer can't help you there. Right. <laughs> well, that did was hurt him. <laughs> Forgive me, Sal. You gotta get hold of yourself. No blood. Can vampires get concussions? I don't think so. Hey, Sally. Manny, I, I need you. Oh, oh no. <laughs> It'll be okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> John Rickles, your scream sounds real. Light. <laughs> you killed him. <laughs> sounds like a zombie. It wasn't that. No. Well, actually, should probably just kill you and put you out of your misery. Oh. This shirt is disgusting. <laughs> just keep smiling, no matter what. <laughs> Wait a minute, does that mean the lawyer is now a blood-sucking lawyer? He might be, <laughs> if you're advised. <laughs> right? God, please tell me, Jesus, my Manny! Honey, huh? Honey. So! Come on! I read the fuck out. Whoa. Now that's fast. He's got super speed. <laughs> oh. Okay. Good lord. Oh. I'm gonna grind you down to blood and screams. Oh, that doesn't sound like a good thing. Oh, oh no. Oh. He's going head first. He's fine. He's not. Oh, right in the foot. Good okay. job. Yeah. I want him alive! I'm afraid he's actually dead. <laughs> yeah, best we can do is undead, sorry. Give at least let him in. Yeah, seriously, help the man out. He's on my fucking foot! <laughs> uh, he got off easy. 
What a crybaby. Come on, we've all been shot in the foot. If you had just left him to me, I would have stopped him before he fed. Now, he's a hundred times more dangerous. So he did get stronger when he ate. Look at this stupid chase. <laughs> Oh, the sun's coming up. That's that's why. Oh. The Amore Motel. <laughs> My shell is got to get inside. We should do the same. Ah, what is this shit? <laughs> that's called being a vampire, sir. He's hot boxing that <laughs> thing. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Surprising you can see the road. Yeah. Ted Raimi. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> or is that actually Sam? Team, it's the Michelli. Uh, I never seen you here so early. Was this one of his places? Oh, of course it is. <laughs> Leave me alone. Shut the door. Yeah, but you're in the freezer. Right? <laughs> okay. Cut the fucking lights. Robert Loja, you're doing great in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> she gave us slip on her rib. <laughs> on the whole prime rib. <laughs> That's hilarious. Most unconventional <laughs> coffin I've ever seen, but I guess it works for him. I know you're good, Joe. I see that. I feel that. Just get over there and get on the bed. Chicken shit. <laughs> I know you could have got some, man. You might still be whole too. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, just transformation. Whoa. Whoa. That's interesting. Yeah. There's some cosmic eyes you got there. The Don Rickles vampire. <laughs> oh my. Uh. Oh. Well. <laughs> so much for that. Oh my god! Oh! oh. <laughs> God. Somebody close the blinds. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> I think you did. He never had a chance to get a last meal. I know. Hey, now don't be creepy. Well, you can't have a love story between a cop and a vampire without being creepy. All right. You bet she you didn't just snap your arm. Now's the time to give him a chili. But his senses are razor sharp. He can wake like that, and he can move like this. Ah! Oh! That's pretty good. That was a smooth move, too. I can't do this. How about now? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you better now? A little bondage. She can get out of those anytime she wants, though. Oh, Just, I'm sure she could. Yeah. You're a good man, Joe. Well, for giving in to the temptation of a vampire? Yeah. Yep, you were right. <laughs> <laughs> but it didn't matter to him anymore. It's fine. Yeah, once he started, he wasn't going to stop. That is crazy. Look, now it's blue. It's creepy looking is what it is. Uh-oh. It's a great visual, though, isn't it? Yeah. How did you do that? <laughs> With some uh, special contacts. This guy. Hiya, boys. How you feeling, boss? I feel fucking fantastic. Oh. Good reflexes. Oh. Terrible tasting food. Yeah. All this beef and shit around you. <laughs> you son of a bitch. No! 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 Come on, come on, fucking move. <laughs> Damn. I don't think they want to sit here and watch this. No. You have to help me find Michelli. And when we find him, we kill him. Let's go. Just two fingered. See, she's not that bad. Well, you must be in the good part of Pittsburgh. Okay. <laughs> Open the truck. He's fine. Ready. Yeah, but they always look like shit when they come out. Yeah. His foot should be healed. There is that. I'm not gonna hurt you. Your family now. Can you help me out, buddy? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Take that as a no. Okay. That scream, man. Sally, would you call Tommy and tell him to get over here? Yeah. You got it. He's exactly what I'd expect to be running a place like this. Oh yeah. 
Yep, he's fine. Oh, he broke that easily, didn't he? Usually you need like a saw to get through that. Boys, you don't know how big this is gonna be, but it's gonna be fucking amazing. He's turning all the mafia guys into vampires. Uh -huh. That's dangerous. <laughs> They'll be the strongest mafia ever, though. Oh, yeah. We're gonna take this town. <laughs> Yeah, you just wait your turn. Welcome to the family. Dude, you just got clean clothes. At this point, he needs to keep a suitcase with him everywhere he goes. Seriously, quit wearing suits everywhere. <laughs> I brought Vinny. <laughs> More. I want you to meet Frank and Ray. Okay. <laughs> You guys are about to be a meal. <laughs> Worst cops ever. Three! <laughs> Where's Miss Chelly? Anywhere I want to be. I just got served up like a Christmas ham, man. <laughs> She got this. Yeah, seriously, why don't you just let her open all the jars from now on? <laughs> Where's my chili, Gus? If I even break it off, I break your head, Gennaro. Careful. I'll swing on you. I'm a girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's effortless. You can tell she's bored with life. Right. She's like, ooh, big man with a bat. Oh, that's not good. Eat your face like a chicken. Nah. Is that all it takes? Can't be. Oh, damn. Look everywhere in there. <laughs> they all have different eyes, don't they? Yeah. There you go. Just Two a down. quick snap. Yeah. Broke my fucking teeth! Oh. <laughs> Expected a bigger fight for her, honestly. He did say she's an expert. Yeah. Call back up and tell him what we're up against. I'll try, man. I will try. Go now, man. We got the muscle. We'll crack this town like a lobster. Sure you will. She's, She's a crack shot, too. <laughs> oh. You chose the wrong gun. All right, we'll do this the hard way. Why did you give me this thing and then try to blow me away? Well, say, I'm pretty fucked up about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No. I say that gun's worthless. Get him. <laughs> you handled that jump really well. Nobody's <laughs> gonna stop. <laughs> I bet that hurt. <laughs> oh! Send him flying. <laughs> fuck! Oh, this is a new suit. Why the fuck did you learn to drive? <laughs> Dude, those buses don't stop easily. Mm. There we go. Do it. There's your answer right there. You think with his senses he can smell the gas? Yeah. Or he doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Hey, he doesn't care. That's okay. Hey, you fuck. <laughs> He's taking that pretty well. You think you can kill me? To kill the air. Wow. It's my fucking suit. <laughs> I am Machelli. 
<laughs> it fell apart. <laughs> <laughs> the whole head just fell off. Where are you, Where are you going? To watch a sunrise. Hmm. Why would you want to do that? Maybe she's just done. I love you. Come on. Well, that didn't take much convincing. Okay. Let's go hang out the strip club for a little bit. It'll be all right. Yeah. I take lives. If you were perfect, you wouldn't still be single. <laughs> Fair point. He made me feel alive. And I thought, why not? Yeah, why not? I mean, you got all eternity to worry about it. Yeah, right? It is, okay, Sam yeah. Raimi. It's the director. Okay. Oh, it is Sam Raimi. Okay. Yeah, I was wrong. I thought it was Ted. Yeah, me too. I thought it was Ted. No identification with actual persons, vampires, places, buildings, and products is intended. <laughs> <laughs> God forbid we offend the vampires. Well, I had no idea it was going to be at the end of this. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, there you have it, sir. Our vampire movie for Hallapalooza. Horror Palooza yeah. there. What did you think of that? Not bad. I enjoyed some of the comedy. You can definitely see John Landis' fingerprints on this movie. Oh, yeah, especially in, like, the wounds and everything, and, and the comedy the, itself. The gore in this was surprisingly graphic when it came around. Like, I thought, oh, she's going to bite his neck and it'll suck his blood. No, she ripped off part of his neck and just tore into him. And that was one of those scenes where it's like, man, you saved one of the best parts for almost the beginning of the movie. Though. Right. So, I was, and it's like, for me, it's like, look, it's, it's okay if you can't live up to that at the end, but I would have loved to have seen more of those. Yeah, it, it takes you by surprise the first time you see it because she's, you know, she's so small and dainty and feminine. And then she just rips your neck out and it's like, good God. I know, she turned into a damn monster, right? She really did. She was really good, I thought. Like, she really played off that innocent looking person like you'd never suspect. Right. And she turned out to be the most dangerous person in the city. I said the movie's a little bit deceiving because she's not really an innocent person. She knows very well what she's getting herself into. Right. But that she certainly comes off that way and just, like, she fools everybody. It almost makes you wonder what the title is talking about here. Innocent Blood. Because none of the people in this movie, guys, none of the people were innocent. No. They <laughs> got taken there. Not the mobsters, not the police. Certainly not Don Rickles. Maybe it's kind of a play on words there where it's like she's the innocent looking one. Yeah. After their blood. She's sitting there saying he, he killed an innocent man. Like, Don Rickles? No, he's a corrupt lawyer. He wasn't innocent at all. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm trying to figure that out. It took nothing away from the movie, but still. No, just something seems kind of weird. I guess it's part of the humor is like, not, it's not really innocent. I guess so, right? Yeah. I thought that was Ted Raimi there. Yeah. I should have known better because we because I've actually met Sam Raimi. So, you know, he didn't look like that when I met him. I mean, they are brothers, but the thing is, like I was saying, I, I've seen Ted Raimi in a bunch of stuff. He looked kind of different, which kind of made me think about it, but I'm like, I don't, I don't know anything I've seen where Sam Raimi was a younger man. No. Uh, nobody looks like now. I don't know what he looked like back then. Now that I see it, yeah, okay, that was Sam Raimi. Well, he probably looked like that when he was making, like, Evil Dead and uh, an Army of Darkness and whatnot, because this came out around the same time. Probably, but he didn't appear in those films, Why I have no point of reference. Right. What did you think of uh, Robert Loja, though, How, as, a, as your main bad guy there? I mean, he seems like your stereotypical mob boss there. You know, he's really tough and exaggerates a lot. And then when he becomes a vampire, yeah, I kind of saw that the power would go to his head, which it did. Immediately his first thought is, okay, how are we going to take over this town now that I'm immortal? Oh, yeah. Once he figured out how strong he was and how, how quick it would be to just regenerate. Yeah. Because he was regenerating even when he looked like a ghoul, but he actually got much stronger once he fed. Right. So I guess that's a pretty common trope for vampires though it's kind of fortunate for them that he wasn't like the smartest guy in the world because instead of trying to figure out the weaknesses of being a vampire and all that he just kind of kept living his life like nothing ever happened incredible isn't it yeah one of the things that did kind of bother me about the film and this is something that because we know landis did american werewolf in london and of course in that film we saw that you know his version of a werewolf didn't really live up to the traditional version because you could just kill it with any old bullet you didn't need silver bullets one of the things I noticed as I was watching this is like they kind of defy some of the traditional vampire tropes in there. Because I never saw any fangs on them. Their eyes changed, but I never saw like long fangs like you normally see on a vampire. She had no trouble being around the crosses, which kind of surprised me a little bit. Right, and they weren't really being consistent with how you could kill them. I mean, sunlight certainly did the trick, but you know, bullets didn't kill Robert Loja's character, but it killed everybody else. Well, no, because they shot him in the head, which is one of the weird things is like, okay, you shoot him in the head and kill him. That's more of a zombie thing, not a vampire thing. 
You, know, you didn't kill anybody by hitting them in the heart. You didn't hit, kill anybody by decapitating them. They didn't quite follow the normal rules, which I guess is a Landis thing, which is one of those things he's kind of noticed as he's watching it. Do you think they're more zombie than vampire then in that ex that aspect? I mean, we did say they kind of look like ghouls when they first turned, so maybe. Because we don't know about Marie, and that was the other thing that kind of bothered me too, is like, we got no background on Marie at all. No, we know she's been around for a while. But... Presumably, but like, what's a while, you know? 100 years, 200 years, 1,000 years? I don't know. Presumably she's French, so she can't be all that old. The, the best feature by far were their eyes. Yeah. Like, when you got up close, it was hard to believe, like... Like, you were actually still looking at her when her eyes were changing. Mm hmm And that was a really good practical effect they did, I thought. Yeah, I don't know what they were using to light those, lies, those eyes. I assume they had some contacts, because you could definitely t tell their eyes were thicker. Yeah. You tell they put something over them to do that effect. But, yeah, it was really cool to watch in person. It made their situation, like, more unsettling, I thought. Because it's like, when your eyes lit up, you could really see that animal of them coming out. I say, it's amazing how just that one thing makes them that much more animalistic looking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, her eyes went pink when she was feeding. Right. And she, and like, the pink was a great feature, I thought. For the, because it, it actually made it look crazy. Yeah. It made her look violent and aggressive, which is what yeah. they were going for. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But yeah, that first kill was insane. Yeah. Loved it. Best part right there. I know. It set the tone. Yeah. Certainly. Uh, I was just wanting more of it. Right. In, in my in my opinion. I was hoping we'd get more of her like internal dialogue too because I just love listening to her talk about, oh, this is my food. I'm in the mood for Italian, right? Yeah. And then something amazing happened. It's like, it's like a mob war. Right. <laughs> okay, then now you got victims. <laughs> All right. Right. Necessary victims here. It's really fun seeing her perspective as the vampire. Yeah. Instead of the people who are trying to hunt her down. Yeah, you don't see that very often, do you? No. I mean, I think... I'm pretty sure you get something like that similar like that in like interview with a vampire but this time you just get the perspective of somebody who's like you know just living their life as a vampire i guess right she's not you know burdened by her experience in life like they are in an interview with a vampire she's just you know living it up being a vampire right <laughs> except you know if she does something wrong it comes with consequences kind of like in robert loge's case here or or sal i'm sorry right Right. In Sal's case there. Poor Joe there, caught up all in the middle, but he accepted what was going on really fast. Mm -hmm. so, you know, cause, mainly because he was just wanting to get Sal, at, at whatever the cost there. Right. But at that point, he was willfully outmatched. <laughs> so. But I mean, you know, he's seen her eyes change color. He's seen her, you know, crawl up walls and everything else. So it's not all that surprising that he accepted the truth. Yeah, just float around a church, whatever. <laughs> right. Right. I've liked this movie since I was a child. Mm -hmm. The other thing I liked was like, all the uh, all the really old movies everybody was watching yeah like and they were like completely mesmerized by them i wonder what that was all about i was a tad surprised they weren't all vampire related because i saw a couple in there because we did see the original dracula with bella lugosi we did see the horror of dracula with peter cushing we didn't see a lot of potential vampire films they could have shown they had some stuff in there that had nothing to do with vampires which i thought he was a, odd he had a giant lizard attack new york city he had a he had a with a killer ape run loose yeah and i'm pretty sure i've seen those films i can't think of what they're called off the top of my head but yeah, they're just like old horror films. But yeah, I'm surprised they didn't stick with like the vampire theme because there's so many movies they could have pulled from. Oh yeah, especially since, especially because of when this was made, you had options. Oh yeah, even just stuff that came out around that time, you had stuff. Certainly. I think they wanted to keep with the same theme here. Now, it doesn't follow quite follow the same trope as like an American Werewolf in London where it's like all the songs have the word moon in it. Right. Uh, in the title. Uh, in this case, it was just older movies there being a part of it. And I was listening for that too in the music because I, I like in the first song I know they mentioned the word night. And I thought we might see some similarity there in the other songs, but I didn't catch it if it was there. I oh, think you caught some of that in the music there, like Sinatra's because you had I got you under my skin and all that. Yeah. So yeah, maybe. Okay. I don't know. It's just it was just its own movie. It didn't have to actually follow the same tropes per se, but true. But I think it would have added some entertainment value if it was there. Overall, I, I think they put out a good product personally. Yeah, I a, like it. It's a fun movie. I have no complaints. It is. Well, no serious complaints. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I, I heard your complaints, yeah. yeah. No, that's fine. I'm just glad you finally got to watch it. Bam, I hope you enjoyed it too. I won't say it's one of my favorites, but I do enjoy the movie because it, it is a classic in my opinion. It's, it's like an underrated classic, I would say. Certainly a very unknown one. I say it's a unique experience. Yes, most definitely. And you got some other people that showed up in the movie like uh, uh, Tom Savini and whatnot. Luis so. Guzman. Yeah. They had a good cast here. Yeah, I'm surprised. Angela Bassett, who was also in Vampire in Brooklyn, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a very good one. But, I mean, they were in random-ass Pittsburgh here. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
for it went in the middle of a mob war, so. I don't think I saw anybody wearing Steelers gear in this whole film. It's kind of disappointing. She wore a Pittsburgh Penguins, Penguins yeah. hat, but yeah, good for her. Yeah. <laughs> Got to blend in. That's right. <laughs> but overall, you know, not a bad little one to give you guys there. It's just, I wanted to have a unique experience with you, fam, and I hope you enjoyed that. It's always good to broaden your horizons with these films. Absolutely. And I've got plenty more where that came from. <laughs> but that is going to do it for us today, fam. As always, if you're brand new to the channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications every time we drop a new one. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, do so in the comments. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there, guys. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, guys. Thank you.